Virgo, this is Kelly from House of Virgo. I'm going to do your reading, your love reading here for Virgo Sun, Moon Rising, or Venus. Some of the messages may or may not resonate. Just take what fits. Leave the rest. If you'd like to get a personal reading from me, there's a link below this video in the description box. You just click on that link there and that will take you directly to my booking site. And I do one uh, 30 minute or one hour phone call readings. Okay, you can also follow me on Instagram at House of Virgo. Links are below. And yeah, please do hit like, share, and subscribe if you enjoy this video. All right, and welcome to my new subscribers. All right, let's take a look here. Let's see with the person from the past. So the Knight of Cups, the world, and the High Priestess. And then the present energy is the Nine of Cups, the Seven of Wands, and the Ten of wants and the future is two of pentacles temperance Ooh, and the star okay virgo all right let's get a couple of love messages here let's see what the love messages are here hmm. it's interesting because i see in the past there was some kind of um love offer maybe even a proposal for some of you um, romantic proposal that came forward in the past from someone okay prince charming or prince or princess charming okay um, and there was like a new chapter or a new beginning um, maybe travel there was travel involved um, kind of feel like um, there was like change big change that was happening in the past but yeah unrequited love and then somebody just went quiet hmm. I Virgo I feel like somebody was like really had good intentions to have some type of a connection with you um, really wanted something to occur between the two of you but then the high priestess here that's just kind of like um, not revealing things, not communicating. The high priestess, she sits in a position of withholding a lot of secrets. Okay. Um, now, unrequited love, there's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep the relationship going. But playfulness to recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit to fun and shine, uh, a fun to shine. So I feel like there was this energy of like, um, you both kind of knew that maybe it wasn't working out or couldn't work out, but there was a, um, but there was attraction and there was some chemistry. And I feel like there was just attempt, an attempt to try to make something work. But perhaps deep down, you both knew that uh, it just wasn't fully it couldn't fully come to fruition and I feel like maybe you both wanted to try to have that look the four of cups here on the knight of cups hmm. might have been a surprise this person might have surprised you with wanting to try to have a uh, with making some kind of romantic offer of some kind um, but your person I feel like was emotionally unavailable or maybe avoidant in a lot of ways okay um but i do feel like they they tried or they made some kind of an attempt let's see this world card here okay so the shadow side that's the devil card and that flipped over in reverse so i feel like this person was trying to get away or make change or cycle out of maybe some type of addictions or um, obsessions or something like that. I feel like your person, they could have been suffering from some kind of an addiction of something. And I really feel like your person was trying to make these changes um, within themselves in the past um, and just tried to keep the energy very light and playful between the two of you because they couldn't, they had, they had a lot of secrets and things that perhaps they couldn't share, or just kept things to themselves, or they just weren't communicating, maybe trying to communicate with you telepathically, or 
Um, like it's like they were present, but not really saying anything, not saying too much to you in the past. Um, I feel like I'm just hearing their intentions were good, right? But they were battling something within themselves. Let's take a look and see why the high priestess. Okay, King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. Um, a lot of pride, a lot of pride with this person. An energy of um, having pride. Uh, it kind of feels like strange. Not wanting to, sh but not wanting to show themselves. Hmm. Let me just get one more card because. This person, maybe they were um, like a fire sign, okay, but very withholding and withdrawn as a fire sign, which fire signs usually aren't like that. They, they withheld and held back their passions, or they didn't really communicate these things with you. Okay, temperance is here twice. Now, it could be a Sagittarius. I feel like your person had a little bit of like, at times they were kind of like a go-getter with you, a bit feisty, took leadership, very charming, played, took a leadership role. Um, and then at other times would become very quiet, not really share things with you. It was a lot, a lot of kind of back and forth energy with this person. Um, and this temperance here basically means like they, struggled with trying to stay in a neutral position right so they were very much either up or down okay and struggled trying to balance their emotions in the past right and I feel like instead of accepting the fact that maybe this isn't going to work out or maybe things you know we're not really there's not enough chemistry or we're not meant to move forward or it's just like there's something there, but not enough. Um, they instead tried to just maintain like a playful type of connection with you. Playfulness. Um, they tried to keep uh, trying to recapture romance with you, but knowing all the while, not so much that there was anything with you, but that it wasn't like a good full, full match. Maybe you felt it was, but your person kind of like was a bit unsure, it seems like. Um, just really had a difficulty making these changes and was trying really to detach from the dark side of themselves. Okay, now that's Capricorn, Sagittarius, Leo, Aries energy. Um, we also have Scorpio and Aquarius and Taurus. Okay, so far. Um, Let's see what's the present energy with this person. Wow, children, children, very soon. Hmm. I feel like your person presently, this person is kind of in blocking mode right now, like playing it off as if they're content, they're happy with their life. Um, I kind of feel like your person, um, they have a wish to have children or a child. They're trying to sort that out in their life, either with you or just on their own. Um, or there's a decision here. Maybe somebody here has children and they need to make a decision about whether or not, you know, a relationship can work. Maybe children are playing a role in this connection here. Let's see why this Nine of Cups is here. I, I, I do kind of get a sense that like there's no communication in the present. And this person is just kind of like, no, I'm fine. If there's any communication, nothing's going on. You know, I'm, I'm happy where I am. I'm quite happy. Um, but it with this Seven of Wands here and the Ten of Wands, it feels like that's kind of a front. It's deflecting because they're trying to make a decision here. What are they trying to make a decision about? OK. 
Okay. Oh, the High Priestess is here again. And I feel like it's about definitely a decision about you. Okay. Eight of Cups. It feels like um, trying to make a decision whether they should abandon the connection fully or go after the ninth cup, which is right here, um, which is you being a wish come true from them. This person, very conflicted energy. Uh, making uh, also whether or not they should abandon, abandon making a decision or whether they should stay quiet or stay put. Let's see what this children card is. I don't often pull clarifying cards on the Romance Angels, but I'm just kind of, okay. King of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Piscean Energy. How they really feel about having children or how they really feel about being involved if you have children or they do or if they should get their children involved in the connection, you know, um, either again or for the first time. Okay. Eight of Wands, yeah. I feel like this person really wants to have a child or have children right now, but they're kind of like... Mm. Either making, trying to make a decision about that is what I feel. Let's take a look at this Nine of Cups here and see what's going on with them. Okay. Um, <laughs> Page of Swords. So there is communication coming, um, either responding to you or initiating communication. Kind of like, are you happy? I'm wondering if you're happy or how you are doing, or are you happy? Are you feeling content, you know? Because the Page of Swords is a card about curiousness. So I feel like, you know, maybe sometime around September or something, there might be communication coming up. Are you happy? Are things good? How are you? What have you been up to? What are you doing? But why is this Seven of Wands here? Okay. Hmm. Yeah, they're, whole, they're definitely pushing back on the deepest of their emotions. They're communicating with you to check up, see how you're doing, but they don't want to go into anything deep with the moon here. Um, they don't want to have communication about, you know, um, how they're feeling. They don't want to tell you how they're feeling. They definitely want to connect with you, though, and or come see you or visit with you. They have a very lusty, uh, passionate drive for you. Um, maybe just keeping that playful energy. Oh, let's see. They're carrying some kind of heavy burden, and it could have something to do with a decision they need to make about your connection or something to do with children that could be a separate message for some of you okay the heavy burden is to do the right thing and for them like what's the right thing you know what the right thing is for you virgo with this person but for them um they've just been carrying this heavy burden here and i do feel like um that's libra and energy they want to be fair and try to find like a win-win solution to your connection but I feel like this burden they've been carrying is their secrets not revealing things to you and I do feel like they want to tell you the truth about something not about how they feel although let's pull another card just to see okay oh yeah I said not about how they, something to do with like um, a separation or a heartbreak um, that they've experienced whether that was with you or something in their past um, Hmm. Whether with you or something in their past, it could also have something to do with maybe a third party situation. Maybe if it's on your side or theirs. Um, third party, I have to tell you, doesn't always mean a person. Okay, it could be a place or it could be a thing. It could be work or it could be... Um, you know, something that got in the way of the connection, which made this person feel like there wasn't enough here for us to keep this relationship going. There might be some communication coming forward about 
uh, maybe some argument or something that's occurring or, or they're feeling brokenhearted not being with you you know because uh, I don't know if you've ended something or if you're still communicating with them but there's something coming through here with this person I feel like they do want to reconnect with you and they are curious and I do feel like there will be some message of some sort about wondering where you are what you've been doing or what's going on in your life um, they might be a little bit defensive too about connecting with you though, um, being able to come see you or just kind of pushing back on that. Or um, like in the physical, like seeing each other, like meeting up, you know. Um, your person's very conflicted. All right, so going forward in the future, religious factors. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. This person sees one of the, an obstacle has something to do with your belief system or morals that maybe they're misaligned. And also finances and career. This person's very focused on their work and is trying here with its two of pentacles to balance their finances or trying to get stable, trying to stabilize. Okay, so we also have temperance in the star and this is like faith and harmony and renewal, the spiritual renewal. And um, this person, it could be in the public eye or um, someone who's kind of like well-known, whether it's locally or globally, okay? But let's get some clarification cards here. Well, first of all, what are these religious factors? Okay, there's, the page of wands, okay. And the Eight of Swords, oh, this person um, struggles with self-esteem. They have a, they have a uh, going forward, uh, one of you might be very spiritually inclined and the other not. Um, and the Eight of Swords is always a card about like self-esteem or someone who's kind of like isolated or imprisoned by their thoughts. Okay, or a certain way of thinking. But let's see this two of pentacles. Okay, eight of pentacles here. Yeah, so definitely on the financial front, you're, this person is really trying to balance their work life, spiritual life. Um, I feel like this whole connection here is all about divine timing. I mean, your person does have hope that things can change. There's just this element of like, there's something about your connection that they feel is very strong, very good, very positive, but there's these all these obstacles here. And I definitely feel like your person is trying to be better or do better, or trying to be more consistent um, in their life, not just with work, but um, it's a love reading. So maybe to try to be more consistent in the connection with you. Let's see why temperance is here. Okay, 10 of swords hitting rock bottom. Um, this kind of feels like allowing things to just evolve naturally, allowing spirit, source, God, whomever to take the wheel in this situation. Okay. Um, I feel like your person is coming, is having some kind of awakening here. <laughs> you know, I feel like they come to some kind of, um, awakening about their spiritual life. I don't really know how they're coming to this. It feels more like it just happens. I don't really feel like it's anything that you say or do or you're not manipulating a situation or trying to push anything here. It feels more like they just get this inner clarity and like hope comes back into their life, like their faith gets stronger. Wow, Three of Pentacles. They gain this faith to try to come into union with you. The Three of Pentacles is like a card of teamwork. And sometimes it, it's been said that it can be a marriage card. You know, that that aspect of marriage where there's partnership and working to build, create, craft something together, right? So, I mean, I don't know. Maybe they're getting some help or they're getting some uh, spiritual help or mentorship or coaching or um, counseling or seeing a psychologist or 
just having um, close conversation with good friends or maybe, um, you know, here there's definitely communication happening with your person trying to heal their, um, there's mental strife. It's kind of like the Eight of Swords always feels like, you know, that can be the self-imposed prisoner, like playing the victim card, like, oh, I can't do this, oh, I'm not able, and probably they can't. They get into some kind of spiritual healing of some sort, or it just gets, a communication or something gets brought to them, or something, or somebody says, you know, you need Jesus. I don't know what it is, but there's like some kind of like a miracle, I feel like, happens. Let's take a look and see how this person feels about you. Okay, finances, here we go. Financial challenges are affecting this connection. Very same here. Financial issues are a factor in their love life, right? This person defines who they are based on their financial stability, okay? And they make that a priority. And I do feel here with this Three of Swords, that might be some communication or something that they tell you that might have been what the interference <clears throat> was in the connection. They can't, they don't really feel like they can be, <coughs> excuse me, um, a good partner unless they're financially stable or their career is on point. And some of you might say that, oh, well, their careers are good and they have a good career and they're, you know, but to them, they are not satisfied with that. Now, maybe they're trying to like come back after the pandemic and things like that. Um, or they're making some kind of career change, or they want something different, and they're very focused. That's a priority for them right now. Does that make you feel good? No. I mean, maybe you're happy for them to get to that place, but people can be in relationships, happy, healthy relationships, and still work on those things. Um, there's no need to, like, separate one from the other. Um, it's just all about supporting one another. Okay, so many things remind me of you. So this person, if you guys are in separation, they are, there is an element here that they're kind of watching you in some way. Um, hmm, with that Knight of Cups, it feels like they could be watching you, can, is the word conspicuously, like behind, um, or having someone talk to you or communicate with you um, and you may it's kind of like hiding it just feels like a hiding energy okay um, but I do feel like they're reminded constantly about you in some way I lost myself for a little while but forgiveness forgiving yourself for another will help you move forward um, so I do feel like your person hopes that you'll forgive them um, for their distractions or their uh, pulling away kind of thing. I hope I will see you again sometime. Yeah, this person wants to see you again, um, Virgo. They want to connect with you in some way. Oh, they couldn't tell you face to face, but they're going to tell you what was going on. Like they have some kind of oh, like awakening, I feel like it doesn't have to be, you know, there's there's spiritual experiences and then there's spiritual awakenings. I'm not exactly sure. The star feels more like an awakening. Um, the temperance feels like an experience. So it might be both or one or the other. Um, but we've got stability. This relationship can stand the test of time. And I feel like your person believes that. Uh, I just kind of feel like they were very unstable in the connection with you. Um, it's like they couldn't, they weren't capable to give you what you wanted because they were emotionally unstable. Um, but they tried to stabilize the connection in the past by um, trying to keep things light and fun. I don't know that that was enough for you. Maybe it was, but um, there's something coming around here with this person. Um, they're definitely afraid to contact you at this time. Um, that doesn't mean it's going to stop them, but there is a fear. Look, children are important to this partnership. Now, this may not resonate for all of you, but some, some of you, this has a lot to do with children somebody currently has that could be an interference or a desire for a child or children okay that plays a role in this connection um, so it really just depends but I feel like it's very significant that that's come out twice 
I want to feel that way again. I feel like your person, there were some things about your connection that they truly enjoyed and having and engaging with you. And I feel like they definitely miss that aspect of your relationship. And they do feel you while you guys are apart. So some of you may be apart from one another. Um, they can feel your energy still. And it's interesting because they feel it from far away. And if you, like, I feel like this person all of a sudden gets a sense of sadness and they don't know why because they're, they're enjoying what they're doing, but they get this overwhelming sense of sadness and that's them picking up in, on your energy or they get a sense of stress and they're like vacationing by the beach and they're relaxed and all of a sudden the stress comes over. They can feel the things that you are feeling and what you are experiencing, right? You guys have that connection and it's, it's really high level. Old wounds and childhood issues need revisiting. Okay, a lot of healing energy. And that's what the star and temperance is. And I feel like your person has a lot of past trauma. Okay. Um, and they're definitely getting, or if they're not actually doing the healing work, they may be paying, they may be like taking a look at it at this time. Okay, these old wounds, past relationships, things in their childhood. Um, there was some lying that this person deflected with, um, so they wouldn't or couldn't or, or didn't want to reveal things to you out of fear of being judged. Um, not that you would have, but there was a, they had a fear of that. Okay. Um, and I feel like they covered a lot of things up growing up. They lied a lot because they had this expectation. Maybe they had to meet by their parents and so they just kind of lied and told told fibs in order to not be judged the childhood stuff um was probably very difficult they may not have received that consistent love and nurturing and care from a parent or parents and so they needed to lie about things or cover things up in order to get their needs met yeah see this person couldn't let you get close to them because they they had a great fear great fear you know, what you decide to do with that going forward, you know, um, it's up to you, of course, because right now I'm, we're just taking a look at your person's energy at this time. Um, let's see, one more message for you here, Virgo. Okay, the High Priestess. Meditate and turn inward to discover your soul's true desire. This is not the time for action, Virgo. Develop your, develop your intuitive gifts and trust the wisdom you receive at this time. So you don't have to do anything, okay? Right now, just stay focused on your healing, your joy, your um, yourself, getting yourself in a good, stable, strong position in your life. Um, and just go within and, and try to trust your gut, your intuition about things and messages that you're getting, right? Um, turn inward and get into that position where ask yourself, what do you really need? How are you going to get your needs met? What do you want going forward in your life or even right now today? Okay, Virgo, so I'm going to leave that message with you and um, I will see you all tomorrow. All right, take care. Bye.